So we're gonna start in constructive rest. So come on down onto your mat, step your feet so that they're towards the outer edges of your mat, knees dropping in towards each other and find your way down to the ground. And then just give yourself a moment here. Let your feet find their way. Knees get in towards each other and then support each other. Make sure your tailbone feels good. Spine feels pretty good and neutral. Shoulder blades feel happy. And then just let your arms come into anatomical position. So about 45 degrees away from the sides of your body with the palms facing up. And then once you've got your body in a fairly relatively stable and quiet position, tune in and notice your ribs, your rib cage and your shoulder blades. So the part of the ribs and the shoulder blades that are connected to the floor. And then we're just gonna kind of press into your head so that your chest lifts a little bit and then snuggle your shoulder blades in towards each other and then relax your spine back down. And then think about letting your ribs, the back of your ribs get nice and soft and heavy into the earth. And then once you've got that figured out, just take a nice deep breath, let your lungs fill up, allow a little bit of an inflation of the belly. And then just think about a soft letting go as you exhale. No need to force the air out, but just let that exhale come out nice and natural. Take one more quiet moment here, just allowing the body to be still. And then in this still place, take a moment here to set an intention <clears throat> to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything in your practice that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care, and respect. And then with that intention set, bring both hands to your belly. So we wanna spread our fingers nice and wide and see if you can just cover as much surface of the soft part of your belly as you can. So staying slightly off the ribs and just really fanning the fingers out so that you can really get a nice good spread and you'll have to rearrange your fingers so everybody fits in there comfortably. And then just take a nice full deep breath. Let your lungs fill up. And a nice slow breath out. Nice, full, deep breath, lungs fill up. And a nice, slow breath out. One more breath here, just taking that full, deep inhale, fill your lungs up. A slow breath out. And then we're gonna take our focus into our inhale. So as you inhale, you're gonna fill your lungs up and then hold your breath at the top of that inhale. And then with that holding of the breath, can you take one more sip of air, fill the lungs up just a little bit more, hold that breath, and then when you're ready, release, exhale, let all that air go. Inhale, take a nice full breath, fill your lungs up, hold your breath at the top of the inhale, and then see if you could take another extra sip of air, fill up just a little bit more, hold that breath. And then when you're ready, exhale, release, let it all go. One more breath, just like that. Inhale, fill your lungs up, hold the breath at the top. See if you can take one more sip of air, hold that breath. And then when you're ready, exhale, let it all go. 
<clears throat> awesome. And now we're going to take a nice full inhale, just breathing in with a sort of a natural sense of breath. And then as you exhale, we're going to pay attention to the exhale. So exhale all the way and then feel that sort of drawing down of the abdominal muscles. Hold that exhale for a second. And then when you're ready, inhale, fill up. Exhale all the way and right at the end of the exhale, just hold that exhale. And then just notice that kind of concave feeling in your belly. And then when you're ready, inhale, let your lungs inflate nice and full. Exhale all the way and just at the end of the exhale, hold and retain the exhale. And then inhale, come back to your natural rhythm of breath. So within our practice today, we're gonna to come into a little bit more of an awareness of that exhale, the end of the exhale, and try to practice Uddiyana Bandha, which is the flying up lock. So it's gonna pull the abdominal muscles towards the spine, but then it's also gonna pull the abdominal muscles in towards the ribs. And we're gonna to start to find a little bit more of a hollow or concave belly. So that's the beginning of it, just that holding of the exhale. So if you, can, if you notice and felt that slight contraction right at the end of the exhale, that's what we're gonna to start to find and then go a little bit deeper, but we'll practice it in standing. So from here, bring your arms into cactus or goalpost position, palms facing up, elbows in line with the shoulders, and just start to turn the head side to side, invite a little softness back to your belly, a little softness to the front of the chest. And then once you've got your head turned going and you've got a nice rhythm, start to add your knees as well. So as your head turns to the left, knees are gonna to drop to the right. Everything will meet in the center and then knees will drop to the left and head will turn to the right. And we're just gonna put all that together, smoothing out that movement and just start to notice here, how do your knees feel? How do your hips feel? How does your back feel? How does your neck feel? How do your shoulders feel? The next time your knees drop to the right and your head turns to the left, stay there. Let your knees get nice and heavy. Take a nice deep breath in. Nice slow breath out. On your inhale, bring it to center. Head and the knees come to center. And then as you exhale, knees drop to the left, head turns to the right. Stay there, let your knees get nice and heavy. Take a nice big breath in. Nice slow breath out. And then as you inhale, bring it all back to center. And then we're gonna walk feet in a little bit closer. So feet are about hip width distance apart and heels are coming a little closer to the butt. And then bring your hands down alongside your hips, palms facing down and move right into pelvic tilt. As you exhale, press your low back into the ground. Inhale, release to the natural curve of your back. Exhale to press your low back down. Inhale to release. One more time, just like that. Exhale, press your low back down. Inhale to release, and then find a neutral position with the spine. And now we're gonna reach the arms up straight out from the chest and the palms are gonna face in towards each other. And now we're gonna reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling so the shoulders round and lift away from the floor. And then as you exhale, press your shoulder blades into the ground and then press so hard that you feel your chest rise just a little bit. And then release, reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling, let your shoulders round, feel the middle of your back pressing into the earth and then pull the shoulders down, press into the shoulders so the chest lifts just a little bit. Nice, do that one more time. Reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling, let your shoulders round, pull the shoulders down and then press into the shoulders, feel that little lift in the chest. Awesome, and then release to a neutral position, palms face down, float your hands back down to the ground. And now we're gonna take a little bit more action in the shoulders, but we're gonna feel the shoulder blades connected to the floor as we do it. So inhale and shrug your shoulders up to your ears, and then as you exhale, reach long through the fingertips, reaching towards your heels. Inhale, pull the shoulders up towards your ears and feel your shoulder blades against the floor. And then exhale, reach through the fingertips, reaching towards your heels. One more, just like that. Inhale, pull the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale to reach the fingertips down towards the heels. And now we're gonna stay here with this longer position through the side of the neck. So shoulders are anchored down, fingertips are reaching towards the heels. And now 
come back to the turning of your head side to side. And you might notice it might change your range of motion. So you might feel a little bit of a lengthening of the neck muscles. So it might either make it a little bit harder to turn the head or a little easier, just variations in our own body. Take one more turn of the head side to side and then bring your head back to center, relax your shoulders, pull your right knee up into your chest, give a light little squeeze, and then release that foot down to the ground, switch over to the other side, pull your left knee up into your chest, give a light little squeeze, and then release that foot down to the ground. Nice, now take it down to your toes, inhale, lift your toes and spread your toes away from the floor, and then exhale, float your toes back down. Inhale, lift your toes and spread your toes, Exhale, float your toes down. One more, just like that. Inhale, lift your toes, spread your toes. Exhale to soften your toes down. And now we're gonna take it into the toes and the balls of the feet. So inhale, lift your toes and the balls of your feet. Feel that little contraction of the muscles along the shins. Exhale, float them down. Inhale, lift your toes and the balls of the feet. Exhale and soften down. Beautiful, one more, just like that. Inhale, lift the toes, the balls of the feet. Exhale to soften down, nice. And then now we're gonna take it into the heels. So as you inhale, lift your heels up away from the floor. Exhale to float the heels back down. Inhale to lift your heels up. Exhale to float the heels down. One more just like that. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, heels down. And now with the hands alongside the hips, palms pressing down, backs of the arms are gonna press into the earth. So you're gonna snuggle the shoulder blades in. And then when you're ready, take an inhale. As you exhale, come up into a bridge, lift your hips up. And now we're gonna stay in this upright position. Inhale, we're gonna lift the heels up away from the floor, keeping that bridge position. Exhale, bring your heels down. Inhale and lift your heels up. Exhale, float your heels down. One more, just like that. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, float the heels down, stay in that bridge position. If you lost a little bit of the lift in your butt, Lift your glutes, squeeze the glutes, feel the backs of your legs nice and activated, and imagine that you're trying to reach your knees towards your toes. So we create a little length through the tops of the thighs and the front of the hips. Take one more breath here. Nice, and then when you're ready, we're gonna roll down through the spine. So think dropping the sternum down one vertebrae at a time, and then roll through your spine all the way down. Once both hips touch down to the ground, pull your knees up into your chest, give yourself a light little squeeze. And then we're gonna move right into wind relieving pose. You're gonna hold on to your right knee, extend your left leg nice and long. Inhale to switch and exhale as you hug the knee into the chest. Inhale as you switch, exhale as you squeeze. Inhale to switch, exhale to squeeze. Nice, one more time each side. Inhale and switch, exhale to squeeze. Inhale to switch. Exhale to squeeze, beautiful. Bring both knees back into the chest, a light little squeeze. And now we're gonna crisscross the ankles, reach your hands around the outsides of the thighs, catch hold of the tops of the feet. Start by just taking a little gentle rock side to side. Awesome, and then when you're ready, we're gonna take it into the tailbone to the top of the head. So we're rocking, rolling the length of the spine. And then we're gonna start to catch a little momentum come all the way up into an easy seated position. And then if you need to rearrange, switch the cross in your legs, whatever you need to do, and then find your easy seat here, nice and tall. And then we're gonna sit in this nice tall upright position. So think about reaching up through the crown of your head and with a little hip hinge, you're just gonna lean your heart forward just a little bit. Keep that nice long spine, pull your crown of your head back up. Beautiful, lean your heart forward just a little bit and then pull up through the crown of your head. Nice, one more time, just like that. Lean your heart forward just a little bit bring it back up and then keeping that nice upright position so that your shoulders and your hips are in line. Now we're just gonna pay attention to the head. So you're gonna pull the chin back and tuck down like you're making a little double chin, hold it for a second and then release. Pull the chin back, tucking down just a little bit and then release. One more just like that. Pull the chin back, tucking down and then release, nice. And now we're gonna take a little turn of the head side to side. So start with, think about two or three inches. So not the full range of motion, but a softness in the neck as you just turn your head a little side to side, making that little no, just turning a little bit. One more little turn of the head side to side. And then as your nose comes back to neutral, drop your right ear over to your right shoulder. Find a little length through the left side of the neck, take a nice big breath. 
And then keeping your head tilted down, we're gonna come back to that nose. So gentle turn of the head side to side. So it doesn't have to be a big giant movement, it can be super small and subtle. One more little turn side to side. And then bring it to neutral, lift your head up and we're gonna take it over to the other side. So left ear is gonna to drop to the left shoulder. Take a nice big breath. And then if it feels good to do so, a little turn of the head side to side. Nice, one more little turn of the head side to side and then bring it to neutral, lift your head up and we're gonna move right into a seated cat cow. As you inhale, lift your chin, lift your chest, arch your back. Exhale, round your back. Hang on to your knees so you get that nice little spread between the shoulder blades. Inhale to lift your chest, lift your chin, arch your back. Exhale to round your back. One more just like that. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. Nice. Inhale to a neutral position, and then we're going to come back to our awareness of the abdominal muscles and just see if we can find that exhale and retain the exhale for a second. So take a nice full breath. Just let your abdominal muscles be soft and fill up. And then as you exhale, think about pulling the belly button in and then just slightly upward towards the ribs and then feel that gentle engagement of the abdominal muscles. And then at the end of the exhale, see if you can just retain for a second. And then when you're ready, inhale, release. Nice, exhale, just drawing the abdominal muscles in. So not that full vacuum sock, but just starting to find and feel that end of the exhale. And then release. One more, just like that. Fill up with air on your inhale. And then as you exhale, pull the abdominal muscles in just slightly, just to feel that little bit of engagement. Hold that for a second if you can. And then release. Nice, and now we're gonna take it right into an easy seated forward fold. So with that little hip hinge, walk yourself out nice and long, reach through the fingers. Take a second to just make a little space for yourself, make some space for your belly and your chest. Soften through the upper back body, soften the back of your neck, take a nice big breath. Beautiful. Now we're gonna press into the fingertips and drag the fingertips. We pull the abdominal muscles in. So think about pulling belly button to spine, drag your fingers nice and strong as you pull the ribs back. So the set, your center is using most of the abdominal muscles to pull you back up and in. Nice. And then as you inhale, pull your shoulders all the way up to your ears. Exhale, roll them around down and back. Inhale, pull the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, roll them around down and back. One more, just like that. Inhale, pull it up to the ears. Exhale around down and back. And now we're going to go in the other direction. So pull those shoulder blades back up to the ears, draw them forward, pull the shoulder blades back up to the ears and bring them forward. One more time, pull them back up to the ears and draw them forward. Nice, right hand's gonna touch down to the ground. Left hand's gonna reach up, lean over to the right. Take a nice gentle side bend. Beautiful, lift up and take it right to the other side. Left hand touches down, right hand reaches up. Awesome, lift up to a neutral position and right into a seated twist. Left hand's gonna find the right knee, right hand behind you. One more breath. And then we're gonna stay twisted to the right, but soften the position just a little bit. So rotate your heart towards your knee. And in that softer twisted position, take three nods of your head up and down. Beautiful. And then bring your head to neutral, release and take your twist over to the other side. So right hand is gonna find the left knee, left hand comes behind you. Awesome, and then keeping that twist to the left, but softening it up just a little bit. So heart is pointing towards the knee and then come back to that nod of the head, just three nods up and down. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, head comes to neutral, releasing that twist. And then we're gonna find our way up into a tabletop position. So you can just shoot yourself forward and spin your legs out or come up into your tabletop in any way that works for you. But we wanna bring the wrists in line with the shoulders, knees in line with the hips. And now we're gonna come back to those abdominal muscles for a second. So take a nice big inhale, fill your lungs up, let your belly inflate. 
exhale. And at the end of the exhale, just think about pulling the abdominal muscles up towards the spine. So you just get that little tiny hollow belly, not the full, not full tilt yet. Inhale, fill your lungs up. Exhale and just pull the belly button up towards the spine. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale, fill your belly up. Exhale and let all that air go as you pull the abdominal muscles up towards the spine. Nice. And then find a neutral position with your spine. Curl both sets of toes under. Pull your butt back to your heels and we're just going to stay here. So getting that stretch to the toes and the bottoms of the feet. If it feels good to do so, you're just going to rock your hips a little side to side. And if it feels like it's beneficial, if you can reach down and spread your toes even more, take a second to do that. We just want to find that nice, big, generous stretch to the toes and the bottoms of the feet. And take one more moment here. And then when you're ready, we're lifting back up into that tabletop. Keep the toes curled under, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail, keep your belly dropped, keep that arch in the back and then nod your head up and down three times here. Beautiful, and then bring your head to neutral, pull the abdominal muscles back up and in, release your toes. Now we're gonna step the right foot forward into a 90-90 lunge. So step your right foot up and then you'll rearrange it in a way that works good for you. So we wanna find that squared up lunge, hips are squared, legs are in that 90-90 position. And then once you found your way there, hands to the hips and we're just gonna lean forward a little bit. So we're gonna bring the knee past the toes and then push your way back up. Lean forward, bring the knee past the toes and push your way back up. Beautiful, one more just like that. Lean forward, bring the knee past the toes, push your way back up and then keep your right hand on the hip, left hand's gonna reach up and we're gonna take a side bend. So we're gonna lean over to the right, take a nice deep breath in, slow breath out. Awesome, lift up and release. Now we're gonna take that left hand to the right knee. We're gonna find a little rotation here. So we're gonna leverage against the knee, rotate to the right, maybe look over your back shoulder and take a nice big breath. Awesome, and then when you're ready, unwind. We're gonna release our hand from the knee. Now toe heel your foot out about 45 degrees. And now we're gonna bend and bring it back in. So bring that knee past your toes, push in and bring it back. Nice, bend and bring the knee past the toes, push and bring it back. One more time, bend push it back up. And now we're gonna to toe heel that foot out to the side. So you're gonna walk it out to the widest position that works good for you. Everybody's external rotation is gonna be a little bit different. Lean out, let your knee come past your toes and push back in, lean out and push back in. One more time, lean out and push back in. Nice, and then stay there. Right elbow is gonna to come to the knee, but we're gonna think about pulling the ribs up and away from the thigh. Left hand's gonna reach up alongside your ear. Draw that top thumb back, gaze up towards the sky, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, now we're gonna take that left hand, that top hand, we're gonna spin it down to the ground, release your right elbow from the knee, and now step that right foot back into your tabletop position, bop your hips a little side to side, and then we're gonna take it to the other side. So left foot's gonna step forward. We're gonna find that 90-90 lunge to the other side. So rearrange yourself so everything feels like it's in a good position. Square up your hips. Beautiful, hands to the hips, lean forward, bring the knee past the toes, push yourself back up. Beautiful, lean forward, bring the knee past the toes and push your way back up. Nice, one more time, just like that, lean forward. Beautiful, push your knee back up. Nice, right hand's gonna reach up, we're gonna lean over to the left, take a nice side bend. Awesome, and then lift up, right hand's gonna reach across to that left knee, we're gonna rotate to the left. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release. And now we're gonna toe heel the foot out to 45 degrees. We're finding the outer edge of your mat and then lean in. Let the knee come past the toes, push your way back up. Beautiful, lean in and come back. One more time here, lean in and come back. Nice, and now toe heel that foot out to the side just as wide as your body allows. And then once you found your way there, lean in and push yourself back up, lean in and come back up, lean in and come back up. Nice, and now we're gonna take it into that side bend position. So left elbow is gonna to come to the knee. We're gonna think about pulling the ribs away from the thigh. Top hand reaches up 
And then think about pulling that top thumb back, gaze up towards the sky, take a nice big breath. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, spin that hand down to the ground, releasing your hand from your elbow, and then step that left leg back into your tabletop position, bop your hips a little side to side. Wonderful. And then when you're ready, curl both sets of toes under, exhale, find your way up to a downward facing dog, and take a few pedals of the legs here, bending one knee and pressing into the opposite heel. Take one or two more pedals of the legs. And then when you're ready, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to a nice ragdoll fold at the top of your mat. So feet about hip or shoulder distance apart, make a little space for your belly and your chest, big giant, super generous bend in the knees and let everything hang nice and heavy here. Soften the back of your neck, let your arms be heavy or grab your elbows, whichever was gonna work for you. And then just take a nice deep breath in, fill your lungs up. Nice, slow exhale. Inhale, a nice, full, deep breath. Nice, slow breath out. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, bend your knees a lot. Pull your abdominal muscles in. So think belly button to spine. Pull the ribs upward towards the ceiling. Come up nice and strong and slow. And then once you found your way up, just give a second to let everything find its way. Get nice and situated at the top of your mat. And then find your mountain pose here. So toes and knees pointing fairly forward. We're going to lift from the soles of the feet. So big toes are going to pull back towards the heels. And then we're going to just bring a little bit of energy forward. So think forward with your forehead so that you feel like you're leaning past your toes and then pull it back so your weight feels like it's in the heels. Lean forward just a little bit, feel the weight in your toes and then pull it back so that you feel your weight in your heels. One more time, lean forward, feel it in your toes, pull it back to feel it in your heels and then see if you can find that more neutral position. So evenly weighted from the balls of the feet to the heels and let your hands come nice and heavy down at your sides, reaching through the fingertips. Inhale, raise your arms up and look up. Exhale, hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, hinge from your waist, fold down to the ground. Inhale to a half forward fold, hand side positions. Exhale to soften all the way down, bend your knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, pull those ribs up towards the ceiling as you come up nice and strong. Roll the shoulders around, down and back. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, bend your knees, pull your abdominal muscles in, pull the ribs up towards the ceiling as you roll up nice and slow. Roll your shoulders down and back. Beautiful, now we're gonna take it a little further. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, that's totally up to you, whatever feels better. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step both feet back to downward facing dog. Take a pedal of each leg. So bend your left knee straight in the right, bend your right knee straight in your left. Bring both legs back to a fairly straight position and then pick up your heels, lower your knees, come to tabletop. Right foot's gonna step forward. We're gonna find that 90-90 lunge. Lift up into an upright position, raise both hands up. And we're gonna think about drawing the tailbone down. So we feel a little stretch to the front of the left where your front hip pocket would be. So find that little drawing down sensation of the tailbone, reaching energy up through the fingertips, look to the sky, take a nice big breath. Beautiful, float your hands down to the ground, stepping the right foot back into that tabletop position, right to the other side. Left foot's gonna step forward, square yourself up, lift up. Think about pulling that left hip crease back, tailbone draws down reaching both arms up and overhead. And we wanna keep that active position of drawing the tailbone down so we find a little sensation through the front of the right hip. Take a nice big breath. Awesome, when you're ready, float your hands down to the ground, step that left foot back. We're gonna walk both feet back so we find a plank position. So keeping your wrists in line with the shoulders, maybe step the right foot back and then the left, broaden the shoulders, pull the abdominal muscles up towards the spine, take a big breath here. Beautiful, when you're ready, bring the knees down, rotate the eyes of the elbows, hug your elbows into your ribs, lower with control onto your belly. 
Once you're here, toenails press into the earth, tailbone draws down towards the heels, create a little bit of space in the low back and then three low cobras here. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower down. Beautiful, one more time. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to lower down. Nice, curl the toes under, power up to a plank or push your way up to a tabletop position and then find your way up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, re reach your arms up, look to the sky. Exhale, we're gonna bend the knees a lot, like you're almost like you're coming to a chair position. And then we're gonna bring our hands to our knees. So we're gonna hold and maintain this position. And then we're gonna practice our Uddiyana Bandha. If you don't get it today, don't worry about it. One of the ways that I found the easiest way I was able to find it and explore it was in my bathroom in front of the mirror holding onto my sink. So just know that it doesn't always come right here on your mat the first time. So we're just gonna play and explore. So we're gonna hold this position, hands on knees, take a nice big inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna draw the abdominal muscles in, but then at the end of the exhale, you're gonna suck the abdominal muscles in. And we're gonna start to find a big hollow belly. I'm not gonna talk when I do it, when I demo it for real so that you can see. So take that nice big inhale. Exhale, at the end of the exhale, you'll suck the abdominal muscles in. Hold that sucked in abdomen so you get that really nice hollow belly. And then when you're ready with control, you'll release the muscles and then fill up with air. Exhale, at the end of the exhale, suck the abdominal muscles in. Hold that sucked in belly as long as you can. Release the muscles with control and then inflate, take your inhale. Nice, one more time, just like that. Take your inhale, exhale at the end of the exhale, suck the abdominal muscles in so you get that nice hollow belly. Hold it as long as you can. Release the muscles and then take your inhale. Beautiful, and then when you're ready from this position, soften down into a little ragdoll fold. So keep your knees nice and bent, soften through the back of your neck, take a big inhale, fill up. Exhale and soften. Bend your knees a lot, pull your abdominal muscles in, roll back up to your standing position, roll your shoulders around down and back. <laughs> Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, step the right leg back. We're gonna come into a crescent lunge. So we're gonna keep the back heel lifted, knee lifted. You might choose to stay here on the ground or if it feels stable, you're gonna lift your fingertips up and away. Reach your arms up to the sky. Think about pulling that front heel towards the back toe. So the legs stay nice and engaged, nice and strong. Take one big breath. Beautiful, when you're ready, float your hands down to the ground. One, straightening up that leg. So straighten that front leg, soften your nose towards your knee. Bend that front knee, heart forward, look forward, take a breath. Plant the palms, step back to plank. We're gonna bring the knees down, take three yoga push-ups here. Rotate the eyes of the elbows towards the top of the mat. Bend your elbows toward your ribs. Push your way back up nice and strong. Beautiful, bend your elbows toward your ribs. Push your way back up nice and strong. One more time, bend the elbows. Push your way back up nice and strong. And then lower all the way down onto your belly, nice and gentle, right into our drunken serpent. Hands off the edges of your mat, nice tall cupcake hands. Inhale, lift your heart up nice and high. Exhale to lower down. Right shoulder up and back. Inhale, lift and look over. Exhale to lower down. Beautiful, take it to the left. Inhale, lift and look over. Exhale to lower down, back to center. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale to lower down, slide your hands in, curl your toes under, either take it through tabletop or up to a plank and then find your way up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center. 
hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down. Beautiful, left leg back, crescent lunge to the other side. Heel is lifted, knee is lifted. You might choose to stay here. If it feels stable, lift your fingers away from the floor. And then if it feels really good, reach your arms up and overhead. Nice and strong in the legs. So we wanna think about pulling that front heel towards the back toe, back toe towards the front heel. So legs stay nice and engaged. Take one more breath. Beautiful, float your hands down to the ground. One straightening of that front leg. Soften your nose towards your knee. And then when you're ready, bend and bring it back down to that lunge, plant the palms, step back to a plank. Lower your knees, rotate the eyes of the elbows, three push-ups here. Elbows come towards the ribs. Nice plank spine, beautiful. Press your way back up nice and strong. Elbows to the ribs, push your way back up. One more time, elbows to the ribs, push your way back up. Beautiful, and then release your weight all the way down to the ground. Shake out your bum, wiggle out your heels, back to that drunken serpent, hands off the edges of your mat. Inhale, lift your heart nice and high. Exhale to lower down. Right shoulder up and back. Inhale, lift and look over. Exhale to lower down. Beautiful, take it to the left. Inhale, lift and look over. Exhale to lower down. Back to center, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale to lower down, slide your hands in, curl your toes under, either take it to a tabletop or power up to a plank, and then find your way up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet, inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your side. We're gonna take the right leg, step it across the left. So crisscross your feet, line up your pinky toes best you can. We're gonna start by just lifting up through the heart, hinge from your waist, lean over just a little bit and then hands are gonna find the thighs. We're gonna pause there for a second. Take a nice big breath. Nice, and then keep that elongated spine, walk down towards your knee. Keep that nice long spine, walk towards your shins. And then see if you can find that one last lift and lengthen through the spine and then soften, relax your hands towards the floor, soften the back of your neck. Beautiful, when you're ready, come up nice and slow and controlled. Uncross your legs, take a second, bounce out your knees, wiggle out your hips, and then we're gonna take it to the other side. Step your left leg across the right, line up your pinky toes. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, find that nice lift up and over through the front of the body. Walk yourself forward just a little bit. Lengthen through the front of the body, walk down a little further, find your knee. Beautiful, lengthen through the front of the body, walk down a little further, maybe find your shins. Cool, and then when you're ready, soften all the way down towards your feet. Does not matter if you touch your feet, we just wanna find that softening forward. When you're ready, come up nice and slow and controlled. Uncross your legs, bop out your hips, wiggle everything out that you may have come across, and then we'll take it right into a little balance. So shift your weight over to your left foot, we're gonna start by just picking the right heel off the ground, keep the big toe down, and then pull those abdominal muscles in. Find that nice engagement in your center. Once you feel like you found a nice strong center, pick that right knee up, flex your foot, reach your arms up, holding a beach ball above your head. Nice, and then when you're ready, release that foot down, float your arms, pop out your knees, shift your weight over to your right foot. Pick your left heel up. You might choose to stay here. But if it feels good to do so, you can pick the knee up, flex the foot, firm up your abdomen, reach your arms up and overhead. Beautiful, float your foot down, float your arms down, pop out anything that you need to. And then we're gonna take it right into a chair pose. So inhale, raise your arms up, hold that beach ball above your head. Exhale, sink into your chair. So the butt comes down and back. 
Weight comes back into the heels a little bit. And now we're gonna pay attention to the tailbone again here. So think about drawing your tailbone slightly down or think about pulling your hip bones, those front protruding hip bones, pulling those hip bones in toward each other, pulling the ribs in towards each other. So we find our center again. Arms are still extended up, but if the arms up and overhead creates any pinching in the low back, you might choose to bring the hands straight up from the shoulders. So a variation there that might work a little better for you. And then just take a second here, still nice and strong in your legs, lift your toes, give your toes a little wiggle, and then relax your toes back down to the ground. Take one more breath. On your next inhale, rise all the way up. As you exhale, cactus your arms, open your chest. When you're ready, release back to your mountain pose. Inhale, arms up and lift. Exhale and fold, knees bent or straight, totally up to you. Inhale to a half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, right leg back, crescent lunge. Heel stays lifted, knee stays lifted. If, if it feels good to do so, raise your arms up, take a nice big breath. Nice, float your hands down, straightening that front leg, soften your nose towards your knee. And now we're gonna walk around to the right side of the mat. So you're gonna walk your hands, pivot your feet so both feet are facing out to the right side of your mat. Beautiful, right hand is gonna plant right underneath your nose. Left hand is gonna reach up to the sky. Awesome, bring that left hand down underneath your nose, plant that hand, right hand is gonna reach up. Beautiful, float that hand down to the ground. We're gonna walk both hands through the legs, past the heels if you can, just a nice little reach through the fingertips and then let the crown of your head drop down, take a nice big breath. Lovely, when you're ready, walk your hands forward and now we're gonna walk back around to the top of our mat. So we're gonna pivot the feet, bend your front knee so you come into your runner's lunge, heart forward, look forward, take a breath. Awesome, right hand touches down, left hand reaches for a little twist. Bring that left hand down, plant the palms, step back to a plank. Lower with whatever version you like best. You might choose a chaturanga or bring the knees down and then take one cobra here just as high as you like. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, bring it up to downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, press firm into your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Hands to heart center, hands down at your sides. Inhale, arms up and look up. Exhale and fold. Inhale to half forward fold. Exhale to soften down, left leg back, crescent lunge. Heel stays lifted, knee stays lifted. Hands lift away from the floor. Inhale, arms up. Awesome, float those hands down, frame the front foot, straighten that front leg. And now we're gonna pivot over to the left side of the mat. So you're gonna walk your hands around, pivot your feet so both toes point out to the left side of the mat. And then once you found your way there, right hand's gonna reach over and across to find the left outside of the calf or the ankle, left hand's gonna reach up to the sky. Beautiful, when you're ready. Release that left hand down, release your hold, and then take it to the other side. So left hand's gonna reach across to the right ankle. Right hand is gonna reach up. Awesome, when you're ready, release that hand back down to the ground, come back to center, walk your hands through your legs, past your heels if you can, let your head drop down, take a nice big breath. And then when you're ready, slowly release, whack your hands forward, pivot around towards the front end of your mat, bend your front knee, find your lunge, left hand stays down, right hand reaches up to the sky. Beautiful, bring that hand down to the ground, plant your palms, step back to a plank, and then lower with whatever version you like. Inhale up to a cobra, just as high as you like. Exhale and find your way up to the downward facing dog. Look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands, come to forward fold at the top of your mat. We're gonna lower down into our little ball of yarn. So bend your knees, pick up your heels, roll your way down, tuck your chin to your chest, take a nice big breath. 
Beautiful. From here, we're going to sit down onto our butt right into cobbler's pose. So we're going to bring the soles of the feet together, knees out to the left and to the right. We're going to take our thumbs right to the insteps and then open your feet up like a book. So try to keep the blade edges of your feet together as you take the top part of your feet apart and then let your knees drop out just as far as they go. Keep a nice lifted spine. We're going to lean the heart forward just a little bit and then pull it back up. Nice. Keep that hip hinge. Lean your heart forward just a little bit and then pull yourself back up. And this time we're gonna lean forward and you're gonna to go to your edge. So you're gonna go as far forward as feels good to you. No zinging in the knees, no shooting pain in the back. So make sure you stay in a nice comfortable position where you can breathe comfortably. And then we're gonna soften here. So soften through the back of the body, soften your knees, soften your inner thighs. Two more cycles of breath. When you feel ready, lift up through the crown of your head and let your heart follow, come up nice and slow. We're gonna see if we can keep our legs in this cobbler's post position and find our way back onto the ground. So start by bringing your elbows down to the ground, wiggle out your tush, make sure everything feels good and then shift around so that you can come all the way down to the ground. And then give a second, let your tailbone get comfortable, let your back get cozy on the ground, let everything find its way. Check in with your knees if you need to readjust the shape of your diamond, heels closer or further away, give yourself a second to find your way there. And then we're gonna take it right into some abdominal work. So hands are gonna reach straight up from the chest like you're holding a beach ball in front of you. Take an inhale. As you exhale, pull the abdominal muscles down towards the spine, curl up the head, neck, and chest. Inhale, release back down to the ground. Exhale to curl up. Inhale to release. Exhale, abdominal muscles pull down, we lift up. Inhale to release. Two more to go. Exhale to lift. Inhale to release. Beautiful, one more time. Exhale to lift. Inhale to release. Nice, and then reach your hands down, catch the outsides of your thighs. Pull your thighs together, bring them up into your chest, give a light little squeeze. We're gonna set right up into a figure four. So left foot's gonna touch down to the ground, right leg is gonna come across the left. Lift the left leg up, thread your hands through, grabbing the back of the thigh or the top of the shin, whichever hold works good for you. And then with your right elbow wedged against your right inner thigh, pull the legs in just slightly and then push the legs away just to the point that your hands can't hold on anymore. Pull the legs in just slightly. Push the legs away just to the point where you would lose your grip. And then one more time, bring the knees in. Nice, push it away just to the point where you might lose your grip and then bring it to a fairly neutral position and wobble your figure four a little side to side. One more little wobble side to side. And then we're gonna release our handhold and take it into our cow face position. So knees are stacked and toes are pointing in opposite directions, like you're crossing your legs in a chair. Reach up, grab hold of the shins or the tops of the feet, whichever hold works good for you and then pulling the toes slightly away from each other, draw the knees into your chest. So hopefully here you're finding a little sensation down into your right glute. Take a nice big breath. Take one more breath. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, release, unwind your legs. Right foot's gonna step down and we're gonna set up right to the other side. So left leg is gonna come across the right, finding that figure four position, pick the right leg up, thread your hands through, find your handhold that works good for you, pull it in. So we're gonna think about wedging the left elbow against that inner thigh as we pull the legs in for a little squeeze and then push the legs away just to the point that your hands can't hold on anymore and then bring it back in, pull the legs in and then push the legs away. Pull the legs in, push the legs away, 
and then find that neutral position and wobble your figure four a little side to side. Nice, and then when you're ready, we're gonna release our hand holds from the back of the thigh or the top of the shin, slide your left leg across the right, like you're crossing your legs in a chair, so knees are stacked, and then re-grab, grabbing the shins or the tops of the feet, pull the toes away from each other as you pull the knees in toward your chest, and then come back to your breast. Nice, generous inhale. Nice, slow exhale. Take one more breath. And then from here, we're gonna keep that left knee in a bent position, but we're gonna switch our handhold, move right into supine twist. So right leg is gonna reach down to the end of the mat. Left knee is gonna come over and across the body. Let your left arm open out nice and wide, and then maybe turn your head to the left if that feels good. On your next inhale, pull the left knee into your chest, bring the right knee into me, and then we're gonna hold onto the right knee, extend your left leg nice and long, supine twist right to the other side. Bring that right knee over and across the body, right arm opens out nice and wide, head turns to the right if that feels good. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, pull the right knee into your chest, bring the left knee into me. One last little hug and squeeze here. And then we're gonna release the feet down to the ground. And from here, we're gonna find our way into a fish posture. So you might choose to start by extending your legs nice and long or walking them in just a little bit. So what we wanna be able to do is lift the hips up and tuck our fingertips underneath the butt with the palms facing down. So that's gonna be our little handhold. And then you'll choose whatever you like with your legs. I like to extend my legs nice and long. So once you've got your hands tucked in, now we're gonna to start to press into the elbows to lift the chest up so that we can walk the elbows in a little bit closer. So now we're gonna have our elbows fairly in line with the shoulders drawing in together and then squeeze between the shoulder blades, lift your chest, lift your heart. And if your legs are extended long, point your toes and then let your head drop back to a comfortable position. You should be able to breathe comfortably and swallow still. So if the head drop back is no good for you, tuck chin into chest, but keep your heart lifting and keep squeezing between the shoulder blades. Take one more breath. Beautiful, and then when you're ready, if your head was drawn back, gently lift it back up, slowly and mindfully walk your elbows out, lower yourself back down, if your feet are extended, step them in, lift your butt up and release your hands out from underneath your butt. And then just give a second to pause. Let your spine relax. Let the front of the body soften. Take a nice deep breath. And then ask yourself, where would be your best Shavasana? Would it feel good to come back to constructive rest? Let the knees drop in towards each other. Would it feel good to take reclined cobbler's pose? Maybe tucking some pillows under the thighs so it's nice and supportive, or maybe walk your feet long to that more traditional shape. So take a second to find your way into a shape that makes sense to you. Especially if you're in a colder place, a blanket might be nice just to get nice and cozy here so you don't come out feeling all cold and achy. So give yourself a second to come into that comfortable position. Maybe you throw your socks on, maybe you throw your sweater on, whatever's gonna work for you. And then just give a few moments to let your body settle in.
Start to bring your awareness back into your body. Gently wiggle the fingers and wiggle the toes. Invite some gentle movement into your wrists and your ankles. Maybe turn your head a little side to side just to invite some movement back into your cervical spine and massage out the back of your head. And then if all is feeling really good, take it right into a good morning stretch. Reach your legs long, stretch your arms up and overhead and then reach from your fingers to your toes. Take a nice big breath in. And then in your own way, at your own time, find your way up to a comfortable seated position. Maybe come up to Sukhasana with legs crossed or any other seat that feels nice in your body and lets you sit up nice and tall. Nice, and then as you find your way up, just take a second to come back into a nice long line. So head, heart, hips in line, shoulders soften down. And then we're gonna bring our nice wide hands right back to the belly. So take a nice deep breath in, eyes closed or open, that's totally up to you. But just let your lungs fill up. And exhale nice and slow. Inhale a nice full breath. Exhale nice and slow. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, releasing your hands from your belly, hands come to heart center, prayer hands together, bow your head to your heart. Breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and for all of your hard work. Take another nice big inhale. And as you exhale, think about softening your shoulders, soften your jaw, and let go of anything you're holding on to that won't serve you through the rest of your day. And when you're ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy, happy Tuesday.